Welcome. This audiobook, 7 Steps to Health and the Big Diabetes Lie by Max Itarov, Part 5, is brought to you by Munch for Wellness. This is the fifth in a series of videos that are a reading of the preview version of 7 Steps to Health and the Big Diabetes Lie. In this video, you will learn how nutrition and vitamins can reverse diabetes based upon sound scientific studies. Studies that have been reported and then quickly buried by a media that relies upon big pharma for ad revenues. To get the full guide in its entirety, go to diabetesbullet.com. Also, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel, Munch for Wellness to get access to all the videos that comprise this audiobook. We also encourage you to leave comments about this controversial, eye-opening information. Now onto the reading of the preview edition of 7 Steps to Health and the Big Diabetes Lie by Max Itarov continued from Part 4, Simplifying Nutrition. Many of us think that we are well informed about nutrition, although in most cases we are not. We either jump on the no-fat or the high-protein or the low-carb wagon, then we embrace vitamin E or calcium supplements and usually focus on one nutrient or extremely small aspect of nutrition, thinking that we have unlocked the secret of good health. In recent years, people have fallen for fad diet after fad diet, the Dr. Atkins or protein power craze, paleo diets, the low-fat diets, and countless other diets. But in reality there is increasing evidence that these modern diet fads, especially the high-protein diets, continue to inflict a variety of dangerous health disorders. Most times, not knowing and not understanding nutrition can hurt us. So why all this confusion? Well, far too often science tends to focus on very specific details while completely ignoring the whole or the larger picture. They put all their effort into one box, one specific nutrient or one very small aspect of the whole, whether it be vitamin E to treat heart disease or vitamin A to prevent cancer, isolating specific biological parts of food trying to reach broad conclusions about diet and health. This can lead to contradictory results which confuse scientists and policymakers and end up with a very confused public. What's the problem anyway? Is it fats? Is it the carbohydrates? Is it the protein? How many calories should I be eating? What's the ratio of nutrients that will make me lose weight fast? What vegetables should I be eating for my blood type? Am I eating the right supplements? If you are not exhausted, starving, or constipated from these ridiculous plans then you are probably having a major headache trying to count and measure the fats, carbs, protein, and calories. This is not health, these are fad diets that are only meant to capitalize on your confusion and make billions of dollars. They are nothing but the worst of science and medicine. If you are looking for a quick fix or some gimmicky monthly eating plan then maybe this book is not for you. I'm here to give you a much deeper understanding of your body and your health. There is a much easier and simpler way that will bring you more benefit than any fad diet, eating plan, drug, or surgery ever can, without any side effects. The evidence can no longer be ignored. The people in science or medicine who choose to turn the other way are being more than stubborn, they are being irresponsible. It is now known that even genetic predisposition is no match for diet. With proper nutrition, we can avoid these genetic diseases, even though we may have a gene responsible for that particular disease. Cancer, diabetes, heart disease, Alzheimer's and many others, all can be reversed with proper nutrition. End of chapter preview. Importance of vitamins. Vitamin C. Two-time Nobel Prize winner Dr. Linus Pauling estimated that the rate of heart disease would be reduced by 80% if adults in the U.S. supplemented with 2,000 to 3,000 mg of vitamin C each day. As stated by Dr. Pauling, since vitamin C deficiency is the common cause of human heart disease, vitamin C supplementation is the universal treatment for this disease. In the U.S., heart disease is the number one killer. Dr. Pauling said that for those with existing heart disease, the blockage of heart arteries could actually be reversed by supplementing with 6,000 mg of vitamin C and 6,000 mg of lysine, a common amino acid. Taken in divided doses throughout the day, vitamin C supplementation both lowers serum cholesterol levels and repairs lesions of arterial walls. 1998 Nobel Prize winner Dr. Louis J. Ignaro proved that supplementing with vitamin C and vitamin E significantly reduces the risk of developing arteriosclerosis. 
One study looked at vitamin E and vitamin C supplementation in relation to mortality risk in 11,178 people aged 67 to 105 who participated in the established populations for epidemiologic studies of the elderly over a nine-year period. The use of vitamin E and C simultaneously was associated with a lower risk of total mortality and coronary mortality. In a massive study following over 85,000 nurses over a long 16-year period with a combined total of 1,240,000 person years revealed that vitamin C supplementation significantly reduced the risk of heart disease. They found that the intake of vitamin C from food alone was insufficient to significantly affect the rate of heart disease. It was essential to supplement with high quantities of the vitamin itself to notice the protective effects. Vitamin D, the sunshine vitamin. Vitamin D is the sunshine vitamin that is one of the oldest hormones on the planet and has been traced back 750 million years, being made by some of the oldest bacteria on Earth. Vitamin D is made from something which many people are so keen on reducing. Cholesterol. Your skin absorbs ultraviolet radiation and with the help of cholesterol turns into vitamin D. Your body can never make too much vitamin D from the sun because a clever system is present which works to destroy any excess vitamin D that may be made. In 2006, CNN ran a headline news story that stated a massive study proves that vitamin D terminates 50% of all cancers. Since most of the funding for TV comes from pharmaceutical companies, the story was quickly buried. I'm guessing you have never heard of this study. You can get the link to this story in the description below this video. Let's imagine that there was a drug that eliminated 50% of all cancers, it would be worth billions of dollars, it would be on television, radio, newspapers, and magazines all over the world. So here we had CNN with the hottest story of the 21st century, and because of the revenues from pharmaceutical companies, the story was buried. Again and again you see how much they really don't care about you. End of chapter preview. This concludes the end of our audio reading. Please go to the video labeled, Part 6 to continue the reading of the preview version of 7 Steps to Health and the Big Diabetes Lie by Max Sidorov. To get the detailed information outlined here, you can buy the entire 460-page version of 7 Steps to Health and the Big Diabetes Lie by Max Sidorov plus the bonus ebooks concerning your health at diabetesbullet.com. Thanks for watching. We upload new videos all week long. Please like and share and don't forget to subscribe.